As you can see, it's raining, but there couldn't be a better way to see a rainforest than in the rain. We're entering La Ceiba Rainforest. I'm taking video. You want to take pictures? You need to take pictures of this side. Okay. We had a very knowledgeable guide that took us through the rainforest. The sounds were so loud, the rain, the sounds of the insects, and then of course the uh, howler monkeys that came through, um, all made the experience great. Midway through our tour, we were brought to a dining area for a traditional coastal Costa Rican lunch. It was a great way to get to know some of the other people on the tour. As we continued on walking deeper into the rainforest, we saw some beautiful flowers things we had never seen anywhere else before. We even saw a banana tree that was flowering. La Ceiba has a natural waterfall and pond that frogs just love. Our guide was able to show us frog eggs on the back of a leaf at the edge of the pond. We were actually able to see several different kinds of frog eggs. Here, these on the lilies our dart frog eggs. Keith actually saw a poison dart frog. We came across this tree with hundreds and hundreds of huge black ants. Our guide told us that these were bullet ants. Bullet ants have one of the most painful bites of all ants in the world. You know, I think everything is more beautiful in the rainforest. The spiders were so pretty, so colorful. The dragonfly that we saw was just simply amazing. Such strong blue and red colors. Here our guide is telling us about the walking tree. This tree sends out roots on one side and actually lets roots on the other side die off. Hence the tree moves location and is called a walking tree. Some of the tree roots that we had to walk over were not just toe trippers, they were huge. You can see Keith is showing you just how tall some of them are. The nutrients of the soil are located at the top of the soil, so therefore the tree roots don't have to grow down, but they do need to support the trees so they grow out long and wide. The Jaguar Rescue Center takes in any animal in need that comes to its door. Their main mission is to care and rehabilitate animals so that they can be reintroduced into the wild. Many orphan sloths are brought to the Jaguar Rescue Center. Here you'll see some juvenile three-toed sloths. We had to use our zoom to capture this little guy. He was off in the distance. This is an anteater. 
he was rooting into the tree to get at his favorite meal, ants. Like I said earlier, the center doesn't turn away any animal brought to its door that's in need. This little guy with Keith is a precary. He was so curious he just wouldn't leave Keith alone. He was following him everywhere. This parrot has a permanent home at the Jaguar Center. It was born without eyes and therefore it's never going to be able to live on its own in the wild. This is one tree you don't want to fall against. We don't need you anymore, like Mikey's doing right now. And then he's going to start spending the whole day in the forest. And then eventually, when he feels ready, he's not going to come back. And every single day, it is entirely their decision if they want to come back or not. In fact, last night, one of our teenage monkeys decided she wasn't coming back. The center is staffed by volunteers. Here you can see they're feeding the monkeys. What happened, Ringo? 